Hey everybody, it's me, Jules Chan again, and just saw How to Train Your Dragon 2. Now, for non-spoiler opinion, I really loved it, and that's what a sequel should do. It should make you love it, it should entertain you as much as the first movie. It should succeed just as much as the first one. Now, we're gonna move on to spoiler territory, so I am telling you now, get out if you don't want to be spoiled and if you haven't seen it yet. Let's start with the visuals, because that's a very good strength of the of this movie and the first movie. The visuals even more spectacular. Like, oh my goodness, both medium and and perspective perspective shots. I loved it. It helps capture the the feeling of actually flying with them. And also you could tell that the animation for this movie was really, really good. Like like even better than the first movie there's always something happening where they're like it's the environment like leaves blowing or the snow f stuff or it to something like the dragons playing or doing something you could always tell something's happening in the background when like two people are just talking it's very realistic very fluid animation it's beautiful and the animation in the first one was already good this one spectacular and stunning the design loved how detailed everything was from their armor to you know the stubbles on hiccup you know to sell that he's older that this is five years ahead and how burke has really evolved like that's a thing with the movie like it's a very it's matured it's been five years so i expected to like have evolved to an extent and it is this this world they live in is matured the, the story has matured now for the story the story, the pacing is what really, really works for this movie. Like, even for the most cliche storytelling elements, like evil dictator or boy finding his mom that he never saw before, it all works if you give it time. Any cliche in a movie can work. Give it time to expand. And also we get to know more about the mom. We, we She's not only cool, we get to see her really, really be cool and how smart she is. And we can tell that Hiccup gets everything from her. She's, she's an amazing character. Although my only concern is that after she meets her husband, she kind of goes a little bit down. It's like her awesomeness dropped just a smidge. I like, even with the villain, like, we don't really know how he controlled the Alpha, like, he just controlled it out of nowhere. We, at the very least, took a little time to get to know the character, like, the villain. Like, why does, is he doing this stuff? He wants to enforce fear on, onto the, to control the dragons. Like, how he was scared of them before. And also, the death of Stoic. I did not expect that. I mean, the death of the Alpha... I didn't expect that either, but still, stoic. Oh my gosh. That's what I also like about the story. It's both mature, but still appropriate for kids. Like, this is how you get a wider audience. Make your stories mature. Like, there's a difference between being adult and mature. Adult stuff is like, you know, sex, drugs, um, uh, mass murder and stuff. But this one, it handles it in a mature. Mature is basically... You handle it in a more dignified manner. It handled them in a way that the audience can take it. It knew when to take risks, but it also handled it with a great with a great amount of care. A lot of composure too. Where everything in this story works so well. And there was a whole bunch of humor and action. Kids can enjoy it. And a lot of emotion that will affect them as well as move the adults like it'll move everybody the feelings in this movie will both with the family and all the loss and the test of friendship you know with hiccup and and toothless and and i thought i think all of i think all of that is really well done and okay okay so let's get into characters like i said the mom is badass the dad is yeah, we're getting to more a bit of family drama, but it works, and it works to Hiccup's character. Like, we thought that in the first movie, like, he was done developing, but no, no, he's still a teenager, so there's still a lot of stuff that he can develop on, and I like that he still had an arc. Like, there was still room for improvement. 
That shows how much of a well-rounded character he is, that there's always room for improvement. And he's not only likable, he's not only smart, he's really smart. He developed the wings and stuff and that flame sword! But also there's still more to develop on him. He wants, he needs to take up the legacy of being the chief, and we see that. There are lots of opportunities where he has to become the leader now, especially after his dad died. His supporting cast, aside from Astrid, who's basically just there to be his support, everybody else, they're pretty much the same, except for the fact that, you know, the boys are getting up on Lugnut. I, 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 Lugnut's the girl, right? I, I'm just being... And the, there is comedy, you know, them fighting over Lugnut, and it, it is really funny, and how she like, hits on the bad guy, who then turns into the good guy. It's kind of funny when she it goes slow mo, and she she's like, "Oh my, take me away!" That's funny. I I liked how the story is so serious, yet the characters most they're so upbeat and refreshing. And you know that's just what I basically like about this franchise. You have likable characters. There are mature story elements that are treated maturely. They're, they're intense, but handled maturely. There may be some cliches, but they work so well because you give them time to work. And hardly anybody pissed me off. Nobody pisses you off in this movie, except for the bad guy, but he's meant to do that. And the designs for this movie are awesome. It's just basically a movie everybody can see. Family, kids and adults all around. You can love this movie. I mean, you can be intense and you can have all this harsh stuff, but be mature about it. But at the same time, be upbeat and adventurous and just make it a fun, fun movie. And this was a fun movie and I loved it and I wish we had more of this, especially in comic books nowadays. Point is, like the first one, made me love it. I think everybody should see it. I give it a 5 out of 5. It's awesome. How to Train Your Dragon 2 is fun for the whole family, it's treated maturely, and even though it's harsh, you could still enjoy it. So much optimism. Go see it, people. Okay, guys, that's all the time I have. Please comment, please subscribe. Tell me what you thought of the movie. Let's discuss it in the comment section. Please comment, subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye.